from Studio 1066 on Tiger Drive, this is Tiger TV. Welcome to Tiger TV for September 25th, 2023. I'm Jolie Bryan. And I'm Jada Womack. Thank you for joining us. Today's lunch is Taco Tuesday with trimmings, ham and cheese wrap, tortilla chips, corn, green salad, and peaches. For this month's full lunch menu, visit www.butlerco.k12.al.us. Shania Bogan was named Greenville High School's 2023 Homecoming Queen. This honor will surely change Bogan's life, Jaden McMeans shows us. Hello, GHS. I am Jaden McMeans. I'm here with the 2023 Homecoming Queen, Shania Bogan. Shania, how are you today? I'm good. My first question is, how did you feel about getting Homecoming Queen? I feel really happy and excited about being your 2023 homecoming queen. How did you feel before they announced your name? I was kind of anxious and nervous, and he made a dramatic pause right before he announced it and it made my heart drop. <laughs> I would just like to let y'all know that I'm really happy and excited, and I want to thank everybody that voted for me. Bogan's courts consist of freshman maid Jada Davidson, sophomore maid Zania Womack, junior maid Justice James, and senior maids to Jalen Smith and Kiriana Lewis. Now we will go to Jemiah Gray for a quick announcement. Take it away, Jemiah. With homecoming being on October 13, 2023, we need to acknowledge a few dates before the show continues. The homecoming dance will be on October 14th from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. right here in the cafeteria. Your last chance to order the homecoming shirts is today. Check out Greenville High School's Facebook and Instagram to find the link. Jemiah Gray, Tiger TV, back to the news desk. Thanks, Jemiah. The Lullaby Lexi Project came to Greenville High School on August 24th. While this assembly happened a while ago, the impact was powerful. For a glimpse into the project itself, their mission statement reads, We exist to empower students to become part of the solution, helping them through life's challenges and equipping them with purpose, hope, and self-worth. Students were able to pledge, I accept the challenge to live on this day. Many students signed the mural, taking on the challenge of everyday life. If you or someone you know is struggling, please reach out to the 24-hour crisis hotline 988. If you or someone you know is enduring bullying, please reach out to the bullying hotlines of Butler County. That phone number is 334-382-4989, or you can email stopbullying at butlerco.k12.al.us. Don't forget, we have help on campus as well. You can visit our guidance counselors located down the hall at the front office. Now we will take it to Marlon Simpson and Denia Woods for a quick break. Let's see what's going on in the halls. Good morning, GHS. I am Marlon Simpson. And I'm Denia Woods. Marlon and I are taking to the halls and see what Tiger has the best. British accent. Pip, pip, cheerio. Let's go. I'm here with... Mr. Howard. Mr. High, can you give me your best British accent? I don't have a British accent. Can you say, can I have a cup of tea, please? Can I have a cup of tea, please? I'm here with... Mark McLean. Okay, Mark McLean. I'm going to have you do something for me. Yeah. Can you say something in your best British accent? Uh... I mate. That's, that's Australia. I'm here with Bradley and Ariana. Can y'all do something for me? Can you say something in your British accent? Wait. <laughs> hey, can you say something for me in your British accent? <laughs> I can't do it. Can you say Pip Pip Cheerio in British? Say what? Pip Pip Cheerio. Pip Pip Cheerio. I hear what? Miss Sheely. Miss Sheely, can you do something for me? It depends. Can, we, can you say something in your best British accent? Well, what is it that you want me to say, Marlon? Uh, do, do you want my Cockney British accent? Or do you want my Mary Poppins practically perfect accent? What well, can you say? Pip, pip, cheerio. Pip, pip, cheerio. That was pretty bad. I'm here with Lieutenant Oliver. Mr. Longmire. Okay, can y'all do something for me? What's up? What you need? Can you say something in your best British accent? British? I'll start with him. <laughs> Come on. I gotta think of something. Hold on. Now I did watch, um, what's that, the Bridgington. Can you say, pip, pip, cheerio? Pip, pip, cheerio? 
Can you say, can I have a cup of water? Can I have a cup of water? I'm here with Stephanie Grayson. Well, Miss Grayson, can you say something for us? Have a wonderful day. Go no, talk. No, 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 oh, no, no. that's never worked. No. What would you like for me to say? Can you say something in your best British accent? Have a great day. Well, Ajeda, the mornings are starting to get a little chilly. I hope we get fall weather soon. Me too, Jolie. But that is not an excuse to wear hoodies. Shania, give us a reason why we shouldn't bring hoodies to school. Well, Ajeda and Jolie, while school policy tells us hoodies are not allowed, it looks like the weather would not call for hoodies either. Thank you for staying tuned to your Tiger TV weather. I'm Shania Bogan. This week looks mostly rain-free for Alabama and the deep south with highs in the 80s and lows in the 60s. You can put away your raincoat for now and make sure to keep your sunglasses on hand. Things are cooling off for us across the country. We will have cool mornings and high afternoons. We can expect things to continue to cool down around our neck of the woods as the week progresses. We all know this Alabama fall weather, so don't put away your summer clothes just yet. This has been your Tiger TV weather forecast. Now back to the news desk. Thank you, Shania. We all know fall means football. So no matter the weather, our Tigers are going to take on Matopka this weekend. That's right, Ajeda. Not to mention our volleyball team putting in the work this season. Kendarius McDowell will tell us more in sports. Thank you, Jolene Ajeda. Welcome to your Tiger TV Sports. I am Kendarius McDowell. Coach P gives us insight into how our team is looking heading into the away game versus you follow on September 15th. Just showing you the reports. I'm just showing you they're coming to you from Tiger TV. I'm here with Coach P today. How are you, Coach P? Doing well. How are you? I'm good. I have, I'm here to ask you a few questions. Is that okay? That's fine. Yeah. The first question is, how do you feel about the team's progress so far? You know, I feel good about our team. I, I think we have learned some tough lessons early, but uh, I'm very happy with my guys, and I think we're, we're, we're moving in the right direction. What lessons have you learned from coming out of the loss against Charles Henderson? I think the number one lesson that we, that we learned is how to prepare properly. I think uh, our team got distracted with the the rivalry and the um, you know the trash talk that's involved with it, and not not real focused on our preparation, and that that showed on Friday. You know, and uh, I think um, I think we have come in with a new understanding of how to prepare for an opponent and um, and how to respect an opponent. How do you feel being the head coach going into this Friday's game? I feel good, man. I always feel good with my group of guys as long as we do what we're supposed to do. I think, um, you know, our team our team has gone through a struggle these past few, you know, from last year to this year. But I think we're moving in the right direction. And I always like my guys over anybody we play. What message do you want to give to the student body this week? I think the number one message I want to give to the student body this week is just show up and be proud. You know, wear your Greenville gear. Be be excited to be a Tiger because I, I am and I know our team is too. Is there anything else you would like to add? Um, I'm just I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy to be a part of it. I love seeing everybody in the halls, and um, I'm excited to be a Tiger. Thank you, Coach P. Back to you. Our Tigers came home with the loss on the 15th, but we'll continue to put in the work. Sports reporter Heavily Thompson had a chance to interview one of the volleyball captains going to their away game versus Charles Henderson on September 21st. Heavily, let us know what's up. Sports reporter Heavenly Thompson here with Soraya Dickerson. Soraya, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. That's great. What has been your favorite game this year and why? Um, the Charles Henderson game when they played us at home. And it's my favorite game because I saw how hard we fought and we came together like we've never did before. How do you feel about the team's progress this year? Um, I feel like we've gotten a lot better over the years, seeing from where we started to where we are now. We play more as a team. How do you feel about going into the Charles Henderson game this week? Um, I'm feeling confident because I have faith in my team, and I know we can get the job done if we work as one. Who is a teammate you would like to shout out, and why? Lauren Houston, because she just has so much energy, and she just brings great energy to the team. Is there anything you would like to say to the students? Um, just come out and support this season. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. Thank you heavily. For more information and to see the volleyball team schedule, head online to www.butlerco.al.us. That's all for Tiger TV Sports. Kendarius McDowell signing off. Go Tigers. That is all the time we have for Tiger TV today. Thank you for joining us. And remember to follow Greenville High School's Instagram and like their Facebook for more information and updates. That's at Greenville High School on Instagram and at Greenville High School on Facebook. Join Tiger TV today by visiting Studio 1066 on Greenhall. Have a great day and go Tigers!